During ESMO 2023, I had the chance to present for the first time a randomized study in patients with advanced kidney cancer who failed prior therapy. LightSpark 005 is a registration study exploring a new mechanism of action, namely HIF inhibitor. HIF stands for hypoxia inducible factor. This is exactly the pathology of clear cell RCC. We know that in sporadic RCC as well as in germline inherited VHL syndrome. Belzutifan is a first in class HIF2 alpha inhibitor that blocks the dimerization of HIF2 alpha and basically blocks the downstream oncogenic pathway. This agent is approved in the US for VHL disease associated tumor. LightSpark 005 is a randomized phase three study in patient previously treated with IO and VGFTKI. So this study is mostly third and fourth line setting. Overall, the study has enrolled more than 700 patients between Belzutifan, 120 mg per day, and Everlimus, 10 mg per day, in patients previously treated with IO and TKI. Overall, the study had for primary endpoint progression-free survival assessed by Blinded Independent Central Review. The study met its primary endpoint with a benefit of a hazard ratio of 0.75 and an increase at the 18 months PFS mark from 9% with Everlimus to 22% with Belzutifan. In terms of interim analysis, overall survival shows a trend. We haven't yet reached significant hazard ratio being in the range of 0.86. Belzutifan was associated with an increase in response rate from 3.5% with Everlimus to 22% with Belzutifan, including 3.5% of complete response. Safety-wise, new safety profile because of the new mechanism of action. The two most important uh, adverse events being anemia, which could be clearly uh, treated with EPO use because that's related to the pathology of EPO synthesis. And the second one being hypoxia, once again related to the mechanism of action of this agent in few patients. Lastly, the quality of life piece is very important. Patient reported outcome clearly favor Belzutifan over Everlimus in LightSpark 005. So overall, the study has demonstrated progression-free survival, response rate, quality of life improvements, along with a great safety profile. It's likely that this study will lead to an approval pending the authority's assessment. And we will be using this agent for now a single agent in patient previously treated with IU and TKI, but it is also being developed in adjuvant setting in combination as well as in first line setting in combination.